In the last video, we took a really quick look at the .rex file format, and I explained how it contains slices and MIDI information, and how it can be kept in time with your project's BPM. Now this means that anything that's a groove or is percussive and is timed can be pretty much used as a rex file. The huge amount of rex files in the Reason sound bank really reflects this, and we can see the different types just by delving into the library itself. I'm going to stick to using these for the entire tutorial, and this will mean that you can load these up yourself at home, and pretty much anything that I do here can be replicated on your own machine. So let's just take a quick look, and we delved into this last time, but if we go right back to the Reason Factory sound bank, you can see that we've got Dr. Rex drum loops, Dr. Rex instrument loops, and Dr. Rex percussion loops. Now these are actually left over from the previous versions of Reason, and these were individual Rex files that would load into the Dr. Rex. So let's take a quick look at some of the drum loops. Now these are by artists, and actually some of these are pretty new, but you can see these ones that are by genre are actually legacy and were included in Reason 4. So if we open Chemical Beats, and we open the first loop, you can see it's now loaded into the Dr. Rex, into slot 7, actually, um, that I've just had highlighted here. Don't worry too much about that now, we'll look at it in detail um, in the coming videos, but I'm going to press Run here. Great, so we've loaded our first Rex file, and you can see that if I click on this area here, the entire folder comes up, so we can quickly load another one. And if I change tempo, and I'll do that now down here, go to 140 BPM. You can hear that the groove stays intact and the Rex file is really doing its job and uh, staying in time with our, with our project's BPM. So let's take a look at a different kind. And this really is just to show you that we can not just use drum loops, but we can also use instrumental loops and musical loops. So we'll go for some guitar loops. And um, we've got Telecaster Rhythm here. I'll change the tempo down to 118. And we can also change the file here. So you can see we don't just have to use drum loops, we can use percussion loops, instrumental loops, anything with a time groove really, so even vocals and uh, vocal performances. A new section of the Reason Sound Bank Dr. Rex and Dr. Octo Rex library is the patch library. Now, so far we've looked at individual files that are present in the library, and this is great for, for loading them into each slot. But as we discussed um, in a previous video and about the two-part interface, in this upper section we can load patches, and these are collections of eight loops at once, or at least collections that fill some of these eight sections here. If I press load and go back to the Reason sound bank, we can see at the top here it says Dr. Octorex patches. Now there's not as many of these, and you're probably going to find that you're going to make your own custom patches, but if we look at the drums section, we can go to electronic drums, for instance, and these are some of the artists that have created uh, custom patches for the new library. And we can load, let's load one of the bomb squads, and we'll go to 110 to 121 BPM. You can see there's now eight new loops loaded up, so I can run these. And these are custom patches built by other artists, and it gives you an idea of what's possible. So you can really get into creating your own patches, and you can save them just as easily as you can load them. So really, these are the two different areas. You've got your individual Rex files in the library, and you've got your patches in the library. We'll be working with both of these throughout the entire tutorial, and you should be able to load them all up at home, as I mentioned before. In the next chapter, we're going to be looking specifically at how you load, save and play your files and patches. So we'll be getting into much more detail and show you exactly how these areas of the Dr. Octorex work.